parts of a flower. Petal, often colorful, leaf-like structures that surround the reproductive parts of the flower. Sepal, small, usually green, leaf-like structures found at the base of a flower. Stamen, the male reproductive part of a flower, consisting of anther and filament. Anther, the part of the stamen where pollen is produced. Filament, the stalk-like structure that supports the anther. Pistil, the female reproductive part of a flower, composed of stigma, style, and ovary. Stigma, the receptive tip of the pistil, where pollen is received. Style, the tube-like structure that connects the stigma to the ovary. Ovary, the swollen base of the pistil where ovules are located, it eventually develops into the fruit after fertilization. Ovule, the structure within the ovary that develops into a seed after fertilization. Receptacle, the part of the flower stalk where all the floral parts are attached. Carpal, a single unit of the pistil, a pistil can consist of one or multiple carpals. Ovule, the structure within the ovary that develops into a seed after fertilization. Complete flower, a flower that contains all four main parts, sepals, petals, stamens, and pistils. Incomplete flower, a flower lacking one or more of the four main parts. Perfect flower, a flower that has both male and female reproductive parts. Imperfect flower, a flower that lacks either male or female reproductive parts. Inflorescence, a cluster of flowers on a single stem or branch. Nectary, a gland that produces nectar, often found at the base of petals, to attract pollinators. Pollination, the transfer of pollen from the anther to the stigma, which is crucial for fertilization in plants. Cross-pollination, the transfer of pollen from the flower of one plant to the stigma of a flower on another plant. Self-pollination, the transfer of pollen from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or within the same plant. Fertilization, the fusion of male and female gametes leading to the formation of seeds. Peduncle, the stalk that supports the flower or inflorescence. Bract, leaf-like structures found at the base of a flower or flower cluster. Corolla, the collective term for all the petals of a flower. Perianth, the collective term for both sepals and petals of a flower when they are similar in appearance. Nectar guide, Patterns or markings on a flower that direct pollinators toward the nectar. Calyx, the collective term for all the sepals of a flower. Pedicel, the stalk that supports an individual flower within an inflorescence. Andricium, another term for the male reproductive organs of a flower, typically referring to all the stamens collectively. Gynecium, another term for the female reproductive organs of a flower, usually referring to all the pistils collectively. Actinomorphic, used to describe flowers with radial symmetry, where multiple planes can divide the flower into similar halves. Zygomorphic, used to describe flowers with bilateral symmetry, where a single plane can divide the flower into two mirror image halves. Pollen tube, a structure formed by a pollen grain that grows down the style toward the ovary to deliver the male gametes for fertilization. Embryo sac, the female gametophyte within the ovule of a flowering plant, containing the egg cell and supporting cells. Endosperm, tissue produced inside the seeds of most flowering plants that provides nutrients to the developing embryo. Embryo, the early developmental stage of a new plant that forms from the fertilized egg cell. Radical, the embryonic root that develops into the primary root of a plant. 
Cotyledon, the first leaf or leaves that emerge from the embryo of a seed plant, often involved in nutrient storage or initial photosynthesis.